Hey guys, what's going on? Raymond here. So I know you guys have been asking a lot, Raymond, when are you gonna do like a full room tour, sled up tour? So I thought, hey, why not do it now? Before, because I have this Sony FS5 here. So do it all in 4K for you guys. So hey, let's, that's, that's why we're doing it. Before we get started with this, um, I'm just letting you guys know I'm kind of sick. So if it seems like I'm not putting a lot of effort into it, I'm trying to put as much as I can into this video. I'm just not feeling the best today. So without further ado, let's get into the setup. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so starting off in the room, first we come here, we have like, yeah, your normal light switches, and then we have these, which are like remote outlets. So you can do one, then we got number two, and then number three. Boom, and then all those can be tro controlled from this. I also have two more, so you can program two more on there. We got my letter on a picture. We have the film crew badges for when me and my team do shoots. Coming over here, we have a 42 inch Hisense HD TV, which is connected to a Chromecast, which I use for just about everything. I love the Chromecast, it's the second generation one. The Chromecast is pretty awesome, it's one of my favorite things. I use my TV like to watch YouTube videos and after I do projects, I'll check like the color and everything on the TV. So most people either watch it on the TV or on their phone. So I'll check it on the TV because I have all the colors set right and everything on the TV. So I know once it looks good on the TV, the color grading and everything, then it will look good on just about everything else. If we come down here, we have an Xbox 360, which I usually play like Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty on and do a little bit of gaming when I have time, which is like not much. So yeah. And right here, of course, we have the Sony Bluetooth speakers, which you can also hook up to the TV. I don't really do that, but sometimes I want to listen to music. Also over here, we have the MPAL speaker. I've done a review on this. It's like a water, like water resistant, actually. Um, I'll try and link it up in the title card somewhere up there. This is my dad's Sony NEX6 camera with the 16 millimeter Rokinon Cine lens, which is a beautiful lens. I've used this camera for like my Assassin's Creed video and I think a couple others it's been in. So this is a great lens. Um, if anyone's looking for like a budget setup to use for some good 1080 video or just getting into the video game, this is like your perfect camera. Down here we have the Unique Breeze. I've done a review on this. This helicopter is pretty awesome. They sent it out to me for a review, Unique. I also have my big, unique Typhoon 4K camera, or drone, actually. It's packed away in its case. Now, moving on to like my desk stuff. Everything you guys see will be linked below in the description if you guys wanna check some of that stuff out. This is like um, those racing chairs. That I, I don't know, the GT Omega and DX Racing or something like that that they make. This is like a cheaper one which it feels pretty nice, but you know, it's cheap. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for a great chair, comfortable chair, but don't have the money to spend, I totally recommend this one. The link will be down below. Moving on, we have the Corsair K30 keyboard, which is a pretty awesome keyboard. One of my friends recommended it to me. So I'm just like, yeah, it's pretty affordable. It's awesome. And my whole setup right here is geared more towards productivity and like video editing and that's basically what I do. I hardly do any gaming so this is my setup, just my personal setup. It helps me get through every day and edit and get work done. So we also have like this gaming mouse which I use. I find this one's like so comfortable for me to use for some reason. I don't know why but I've always liked this mouse. I'll, I'll leave everything linked below. Also we have the G Technology hard drive down here it's a two terabyte model i use this as like my offloading hard drive i load stuff onto that and then i carry it down to the bottom here to my main hard drive which is a five terabyte uh, seagate one which is right there then i also have my portable one terabyte western digital which i carry on to like shoots and stuff with me also i have my cyber power backup battery power supply with surge protectors and stuff so I keep everything plugged into here. It's got a backup battery, so if the power goes out in the house, everything 
will be powered by this for about an hour or two so I have time to like save my projects and if files are transferring they can finish transferring and stuff so it doesn't mess up and nothing gets messed up and so I have enough time to finish what I'm doing and just save and quit everything so this is great to have if you're in an area and stuff that gets like power outages a lot I totally recommend this I actually totally recommend it for just about any setup really it's great to have it make sure it's so none of your electronics get blown out and stuff this shelf is just like random cords and stuff got a pack of headphones that I've never opened maybe a giveaway you guys want to give away drop a like on this video and maybe I'll give you guys a set of head earbuds if you guys want them we also have these KRK Rocket 5s. These are the old ones, like the older style. Apparently they're known to sound better, they say, than the newer ones. I have no idea, I haven't tried both of them. So this is my main monitor of choice. Gotta stay proofed for the future. Gotta be ready for the future. So when I upgrade to some 4K cameras, I have a 4K monitor to work on, which has a nice color range to it and everything which is one of my favorite monitors. I think it's like under $400. I made a review on it. You guys should go check that out. Links and everything will be in the description as always. Now the computer running all this is actually a MacBook Pro Retina. I have a space gray skin on it, which is pretty awesome. It's, a, it's like a 2014 MacBook Pro Retina with 16 gigs of RAM. It has like a 256 SSD. It has the dual graphic card, so it has like one gigabyte of internal graphics and then like one gigabyte of AMD graphics, which is great for doing like 4K footage and up. So I've edited some 4K and 6K red raw footage and it seemed to handle just fine. I dock my computer back here when I'm working at my desk or, you know, making videos like this of my room. And then, you know, when I go out like on a shoot, I'll just pull it out and put it in my backpack and take it with me and I can work right on my computer and then work right at my desk and just go back and forth between that. In my last setup, I had an iMac, which it was kind of hard going from one computer to the next because you had to transfer files and make sure they're all over there. So it's easy just having everything on one computer. This is one of my favorite lenses. Really old Canon 85 to 300 FD lens with a Sony E-mount on it, adapter. So I use this a lot for my telephoto shots. It has a nice clean look to it. And I think it was only like 150 bucks for that lens. And it's a great lens. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome for like a 30 year old lens. Now over here I have my Sony A7 with a rocking on 14 millimeter Cine Prime on it, which it this is like this is my main camera I carry around just about everything I do like all my main videos and stuff on that this is the camera I'm always using so now I try to cable manage as best I can so you don't see many cables but you know you still sometimes will end up seeing cables like back here but majority of the cables are in like this I don't know what you call it like a cable guard or something but they stay like tucked in here. So like if you back up, you hardly see any cables. It just looks nice and clean. It's a nice and clean setup, which I like it. I don't like seeing many cables, so yeah. You know, over on the side here, I have my fly cam, which is like the Devon Graham series glide cam, which is like $200 and it's like an exact copy. So this is what I use to like get my super clean shots if any of you guys were ever wondering this is my stabilizer of choice you can go from like a gopro on this to like a red epic or red weapon or something like that down here i have this is my a7 cage so it goes on my a7 up there it just helps protect the camera a little better you can also mount more things onto it if you need to you can put like a follow focus down here i have my lens support right there this is my productivity work desk that I do most of my work on. You know, coming around here, we have Ghetto Nightstand. Hit the like button for Ghetto Nightstand, right? It's just a box with stuff on it. My bed, you know, gotta get comfortable. Gotta, gotta sleep sometimes, you know. One of my favorite paintings that I've done, my San Francisco poster painting, whatever. Um, that's like uh, acrylic paints on a canvas, so one of a kind, mate. 
got my purple LED strip behind my bed, have my green LED strip behind there, and have a blue LED strip behind my TV. So I'm thinking about maybe getting like an end table, definitely for this side or somewhere over there, and put like a lamp or something with some color LEDs. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me. Well, what do you think looks cool? Maybe even pick out some end tables that you guys like. I definitely want to get two white nightstands to go beside my bed and like match the whole white theme in my room. Also, I plan on getting like some smart LED bulbs to put in my lamp up here. If we go into my closet, this is where we have a lot of stuff. I have the FS7 in this box. Right now I'm shooting on the FS5, but FS7, these gotta go back to Sony later today. Also, we have like all my product boxes up here of stuff that I've had and like all my tech boxes. I don't know why us tech YouTubers just like keep all our boxes. I don't know, it's weird. Monitor box, have a soft box for my light, you know. And down here I have like my ice skates, my snowboard boots, some film stuff. I have my beautiful Miller tripod, which is amazing. I use this for about most of my shots. I use the Miller tripod, but it's a bit heavy, so I don't travel with it much. When I travel, I'll take my Manfrotto 501 tripod uh, because it's light, so I usually use that to carry around. But most of the time, I use my Manfro or my my Miller tripod from the awesome people at Miller. Thank you for the awesome tripod. So, yeah, that's about it for a closet. You know, we got our guns shoved behind there. We got some more guns back there. Clothes gotta be stylish you know this is the fs5 pelican case over here we got some more camera gear more clothes down here we have the charging station which i basically charge everything down here so yeah helicopter battery external battery pack um fs7 charger my a7 charger and just just everything goes into here so in case you guys are wondering yeah and this is actually a smart LED. I've done a video on it, so you can like change the LED colors from your phone. I keep this in my closet, it looks cool. Thinking about getting more, like I said, for out here. I don't know, if I can find some cheap enough because they're quite expensive. So this is basically my room setup. You know, got everything. I'm comfortable, this is just comfortable for me. So let me know what you guys think of it. Write down in the comments below. Hey guys, thanks for watching this. If you have enjoyed it, hopefully you have, be sure to hit that like button down below. It's down below, right down there. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you know when I upload new content. Hopefully all you new people coming to watch this video, you check out some of my other videos that I've done um, that you can see that I've edited from this awesome room here that you, that you guys are probably jealous of. So. Yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to close off this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, like I said. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in those comments below because that's what the comments are for. Also, check the description if you're looking for anything or maybe I left out something that there's not a link to. All the links and everything will be down in the description for all the products and stuff that I talked about if you guys are wondering what they are and stuff. So, yeah, that's about it. I like I said, I'm sick and I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.